evening. I'd like to call this meeting for the city of San Juan at 6 p.m. May we rise for invocation. Under public comments, I mean, we have one, right? Okay, Mr. Rene Jaime. Mayor and Commissioners, uh, my name is Rene Jaime. I'm from the city of Far. I'm your, currently your purchasing agent. I just wanted to let you all know here in person that uh, two weeks ago I turned in my resignation, and tomorrow's my last day. I want to let you know that uh, I have really appreciated working for the city of San Juan over the past nine and a half years. Um, you know, I just grew up just down the road over here. Um, I appreciate all the support and help I got from my coworkers. Um, excuse me. And uh, I really was touched by the very positive and, and supportive uh, response that I've gotten from my coworkers as I make plans to leave. Um, additionally, you know, I want to take this opportunity to thank each of you, each member of the commission that reached out to me when my mother and father passed away back in July 2020. You know, that really meant a lot to me, and it meant a lot to my family. And my father would have really appreciated it being a former elected official. So, you know, uh, it's just been a great experience, a uh, great learning experience, and uh, I just want to let you all know personally. Okay? Thank you. For your service, Mr. Thank you for your service, sir. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Yes, Mayor, Commissioners, good evening, staff, community members. The first item on the agenda, Mayor Commissioners, is presentations. Tonight we have a presentation on department reports. Uh, we have the Department of Planning and Zoning, Department of uh, Parks and Recreation, San Juan Memorial Library, and Department of Sanitation. Every director and assistant director of the consultant is here. Do you have any questions for them? Any questions for the directors at this time? Chief Morin. Oh, is it for Chief also? No, no, no. Oh, sorry then. It's not for you then. No. No, it's not. Okay. I guess for Mr. Willingham, the only question I have for you, sir, is the uh, we were able to modify the the um, the ordinance and all that. Of the <coughs> yes, it's been modified. Uh, the changes, changes that, that we talked, talked about, about, about the are there, there, so it'll be here in a oh, couple of items now. Okay. All right, with that being said, let's go ahead and move on, sir. Public hearing. Yes, on the public hearing, we have a uh, hold the public hearing for a conditional use permit to allow the industrial ballroom event center located at 1200 East Business 83, Suite 1201. Legally described as lots 122 through 125 VAP East subdivision and requested by Johnny Rodriguez. Mr. Scholar. Mayor Commissioners, uh, this uh, property is located in Sanchez Street uh, between Stewart and Sessa. So it's an existing plaza. Uh, that's where the Premier High School is located at. Uh, so he's uh, applying for a condition use permit for an event center called the Industrial Ballroom. We did send out letters. Uh, we did send out the advertisement as well. Uh, the currently zone general business C2. Uh, and that location, uh, there's 75 parking spaces available. Uh, the plans don't need to review this. Uh, th there's any issues with uh, an event center. Um, there's questions on, you know, parking, uh, when he's going to have his events. 
all these plans to have them on the weekends and kind of towards the afternoons so that wouldn't interfere with the school that's there. All right, with that, I'm gonna go ahead and open this up at 6.06 p.m. 6.06 p.m., is there anyone here for or against? For or against? Any questions for Mr. Spowat, members of the commission? All right, with that being said, I'll go ahead and uh, close this at 6.07 p.m. Is there a motion to approve? Promo. I'll go ahead and second. It's been second by Commissioner Mohan. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Motion carries. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Next item, Mayor, we have a full public hearing on the resource request from single family resident district uh, to the expressway corridor district EC of the following properties. In front of you have uh, 11 properties uh, that uh, they're asking to be rezoned. Uh, this also, it's 11 properties. We're looking to zone change it from single family residential to expressway corridor district. Um, just to add, you know, the city did an expressway corridor study in 2016. Uh, pretty much all the properties were zone changed to expressway corridor, but there was these 11 that were left out. Uh, they were also part of the study, and at that time, uh, you know, there was nobody really came to the public hearing to, you know, say that they didn't want it. Uh, I believe they just left them out because they were just open land and there were some homes in those properties. But as the city's developed, uh, you know, the city wants to go ahead and move that to that phase two to don't change uh, these properties to express the report or district. And I'm gonna go through all 11 properties, just so you know what's on the property right now. So for the first one, uh, there's an existing home which is dilapidated and it was actually recently demolished at this time. Uh, property two, uh, Elmo Woods 0.26, that's an existing home. Uh, property three, uh, that's a 0.26 acres, that's also an existing home. Uh, number four, Elmo Woods 0.76 acres, that's an existing home as well. Uh, property number five, that's a 0.472 acres, that's an existing home. Uh, property six, uh, 4.82 acres, that's an existing home with also farmland, it's uh, open land. Property number seven, 4.13 acres, that's existing home and also brush land. So there's like uh, trees, mesquite trees. Uh, property eight, that's 1.20 acres, that's farmland as well. Property nine, that's 0.75 acres, that's, that's actually owned by the city of San Juan. Uh, property 10, uh, it's a uh, lot 3, block 35, that's also farmland. And then property 11, it's 1.79 acres, and that's Fireman's Park currently uh, today. Uh, so what we're doing is we want to zone change to express the quarter district. You know, that's, that's open for commercial development, also mixed use development. Currently, these homes that are existing, uh, since they're already there, they're grandfathered, so you know, the city can't touch them, they can stay as is. It's just in the future when it does develop, if you know, 10, 15 years down the road, when they do purchase it, you know, they'll buy that out if if the property owners want to sell, and then all that will be for Expressway Corridor District. Yeah. And there's a public hearing. I don't know if anyone's here at the time. You know, this is. This time I'm going to go ahead and open the at 6.09 p.m. Is there anyone here for or against? For or against? You can, you, you can come to the podium, sir. Yeah, yeah, just, just can, can, can you just, just hold on, on sir. sir? Just, just make, make sure you yeah, to can state, state your, your name, name for the record. record. My name is Herbert Wesley. Okay. I'm the owner of uh, my, my, my wife, the owner of the uh, 4.54 acres out of lot 2 block 35 on my insurance subdivision. And uh, we have a single family home on there. And as he said, it's brush land that I, have, I manage for wildlife on the four acres. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm curious, and, I, and I, I couldn't really hear what he was saying, saying but who is, who is requesting this change in zoning? The city. The city. Yes. The city. So it's not an individual landowner. No. There's no there's no plans for any construction or anything? Uh, this time, no. Yeah? Okay, thanks. Uh, my, my concern, I, I guess you kind of addressed it, is we're going to be grandfathered in on our current use of the property for the house and the wildlife management area, et cetera. That's exactly what we just mentioned. Okay. Uh, I, I guess, guess I have a couple, couple of questions, questions about if something, something were to, my house were down, down would I be able, able to rebuild that house with the exact location, location also? Is that covered or something like that? No, the only other location would be allowed. Um, the city wouldn't make an exception on that, but you know, you do an addition, but if it's a different house, you would follow into the 
So, so in addition to the existing property, property we'd be allowed also to ask. Yes. But if it would burn, I would, could not rebuild, except be without a variance from the city. Okay. Uh, Thank you, Mr. Squad. What would you say? say? I, I heard his question, but I didn't hear you. What the, well, I'm going to kind of clarification, what is allowed under the new zoning that you're proposing for the area? Uh, there's, a, there's actually a long list. Uh -huh. um, I can provide that to you, but there's a, a long list of commercial okay. development. There's also mixed use, okay. which we do apartments, but also it has to have like a plaza with it. But it, there's a long list. You couldn't do single, single family housing, though? No. The, the, so what, what we're doing before is not, no longer. Which you currently have, yes. Um, I guess I guess I like to go regular on opposing the uh, the status. So, so going in reference to his question, okay. so, so if his house, house were to burn down, God forbid, forbid right? right. Um, well, 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 the, the commission, commission can decide whether they, they can come in and and, and grant him. You know what I'm saying? Because I mean, really, really truthfully, and, and, and this, this is my opinion. All right, and I'm not speaking on my behalf. behalf. I mean, I, I just feel that that it's not right. You know, if you know, if, if his house were to burn down, you know, I really think that we can come in or, you know, my, my opinion, I feel that we need to go ahead and just continue giving him the grandfather clause deal to where he can just go up and build. Does that need to be go up, go over and, and, and to be made in a... Or well, does it if and when that... Yeah, yeah. I, and, I, and, I, and I, guess I guess what I'm trying, trying to say is I think, think it's, it's kind of like a case-by-case, case, sure. Depending, you know, uh, but to answer your question, you know, the, the the commission has, you know, the authority to determine whether we can. Yeah. If that were to happen, um, the commission can grant a variance and allow you to re build your residential you have to be the discretion of any future commission well that's, that's the question i was going to ask can we make that variance right out and make it official today or come no. by by a by a motion who knows it'll be those would ha those would have to be amended so again um and yeah, or you could one take out the property and leave, it and, leave and rezone the rest of them or whatever if that's what you want to do. But we would have to change the rules that grant whether or not it's grandfathered or not. Um, again, that's what we take variances from. So uh, we would be rewriting a rule just for this particular property, and that's not the way we normally do it. We basically right. just grant variance on the property is what we normally do. Well, I would say that if we would, if we would do something, you do it all together as one. If something of natural disaster, which would be a, I don't know what it's called, never happens, right? A house fire or anything like that. It should be up to the point to where it's rebuilt the same way. Anything extra, like, like you said, like uh, like a bigger cell. building or uh, uh, additional to the actual structure that you have or the or the uh, foundation, and then that I understand it would default the the uh, the uh, the grandfather clause, but. If it's a natural disaster, I don't think all these properties should be held at that, at that, at that aspect where they lose out. Right.
I just wanted to find out the rules on that. Yeah. I'm not familiar with yeah. So, exactly is his property. Yeah. Which one is it? Which where does it fall? I know there's a gentleman that was waving. He wants to speak as well. Bus, bus. I, I, don't, I don't know who he is. The fort. It's number seven. Uh, good afternoon, uh, Mayor and Commissioners. I uh, want to thank you for giving me the opportunity to speak out. I have uh, the first property, actually, the one that uh, Mr. Escobar is, is he is aware and, uh, and I appreciate his cooperation. Uh, I'm on the demolition. I have completed the demolition of the house and uh, I'm in the process of starting my new home and going through the city with the permit and everything. So I've been working on the plan back and forth, making some changes and to build my dream home, which I brought it up to. And this was a process that I started prior to getting any letters or anything from the city about the plans that the city had. And it was uh, mentioned in the planning and so on in uh, meeting, you know, my intention. So I just wanted to emphasize that, that uh, that's what is happening right now on my particular land. And uh, I'm aware that once I build my home, then whatever happens after, after that, then it might be different. But that is what is currently happening right now. Can you state your name for the record, sir? Emilio Villanueva, Jr. Okay. Yes. Thank you, Mr. Thank you, Commissioners. Thank you, Mayor. What, what he's basically saying is um, before we did the zone change, he submitted plans to construct, so he's allowed to build. Uh, because, because he submitted, submitted before, before the zone, zone change, change actually happened. happened. So, so he's allowed, allowed to build. This doesn't pertain to him. Uh, well, block one is his, and, and it's in the zone change, to zone change to the corridor. But since, since he submitted plans before we changed it, he's allowed to build his home. home. That's the okay. Yeah. Okay. All the graph of the Yeah. Correct. Basically, yes. Correct. Okay. So, um, anyone is here for or against? All right. I'm going to go ahead and close this at 6.19 p.m. Uh, yeah, um, on the organized. Yeah. I'd like to motion to approve with the conditions conditions that, are, that we specified on, oh, which is the uh, on the uh, on the uh, the grandfather clause. So, uh, second. Okay. So you're talking the We're property. Gonna, Can you read the, the that in the record? Uh, it's number it's seven. Seven. The bullet bullet point. Number seven. Yeah. Which bullet is point. description lot seven. Okay. Alamo Land and Sugar. Alamo Land and Sugar, Lot 7, correct? Mm -hmm. You got it. Alamo Land Sugar Company, 4.54. Yeah, uh, AC acres. dash A N I R R T R, right? Yeah. B E 502 N788.5 Lot 2 Lot 354.13 AC net. That's what it reads on our agenda. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. It's been a second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you, sir. Mayor, if I may. Go ahead. Uh, the drinks presented were from Elevate Nutrition. They were supposed to. Elevate Nutrition. Elevate Nutrition. Okay. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. What is this? What is it? <laughs> it's good. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it, sir. Thank you, sir. Go ahead, sir. Yes. Under Mayor, reconsideration of the rezoning request from single family resident district to neighborhood commercial district at the property located at 315 West First Street, legally described at lot 3, block 6, and one original townsite subdivision requested by Maria Guadalupe Garcia. So, this is located on First Street, uh, Oblate, and Oblate, and Oblate. So, they actually appealed the, the decision that the City Commission had at the last meeting. Uh, they're requesting that we review, review it again due to uh, parking and uh, some of the issues that was discussed on the traffic, they submitted a new plan uh, for that, so they asked for it to be appealed and brought back to the... 
And so, what, what different was it from the first time to now? What, what did they? Well, one of the issues was they were talking about parking, but she said that she's able to put that parking in, and also that the traffic. You know, she felt that uh, the city's kind of basing, kind of not discriminating, but saying that since there's traffic there, that she can't have her business. So she's wanting to appeal that. Oh, okay. That decision. And, and how we, the only way we can bring this back is if it if there's a legitimate reason that something was not discussed during the the uh, discussion. And he's speaking about the parking area that was not discussed uh, as far as parking area in the back. So that's why he was being brought before you all. Parking area in the back. There's room to go parking, but when she applies for a building, if it does get zone changed, when she applies for the building permit, she's going to have to put a parking. No, she's going to make sure that there's... there's well, we have, we're going to make sure the city has to review we'll that. Okay, yeah. so we'll be on top. I mean, you all will make sure of this. Yeah, yeah. Because, I mean, what, they do, what, what happens to that, and, and, and uh, we, we pass this, and then nothing gets done. Yeah, and this is zone change, so, you know, the type of business, it's a neighborhood commercial, so the businesses that are allowed are, you know, Stuff that's for that area, you know, the Pacifica is there, so but we want commerce and we want we want business. And I understand going with uh, making sure that I mean, we make a motion here that those things will be covered. I mean, that way everybody's taken care of. I mean, we dot our eyes, dot our eyes, and cross our teeth, right? With everybody, the parking area is going to be in the back. Oh, the we they're going to have to submit a site plan and then we review it with the front and back. And that's going to, I mean, the, the city has no expense on that whatsoever. Yeah, they have to put the, the owners have to pay for it. Yeah, there's a four, yeah, we, we, we pay for that. One entrance or two entrance? Which is that, that entrance that's there off of uh, First Street. First Street, which would be the, the one next to the Recycling Center? It'll be this way? There, it's about the third home, I believe, from the Recycling Center. And I know that the issue was the parking because obviously that area is road reduced as far as the roadway. So the, uh, the actual entrance would be possibly on the east side and going up south and, and then behind the residence. That's what you're looking at? So it'll, it'll just be through First Street. First Street. First street. First street. But but right now we're just discussing a zone change from uh, single family to neighborhood commercial district. So once they submit for a building permit, that's totally separate. That's we don't we don't actually have to discuss that. The main thing was the traffic. She felt you know being discriminated against because of traffic that you know that that that's not in control. I that, but we just want to make sure that where would there be parking? Well, there's nothing discriminatory. You know, I have a video of what it looks like. Not, I think there's, there's a school there and there's a lot of traffic. Here. Yeah, there's uh, a lot of traffic. Know? So she well, during school hours. Yes. School hours yeah. 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 So there's no, the problem with that street is that obviously during school hours, right? right. I mean, it's, it's only a certain amount of time. time. There's no shoulder. So that during school hours, we just had an issue. We'd had several complaints just in the last few days regarding that's separate. The thing with that road is that there's no shoulder. So during those peak hours, there's no shoulder. So say she has a high peak hour during that time. Now we have normal traffic going east and west. Then we have the school traffic stalled. Then we have, we already have people blocking entrances to recycling. We don't have uh, any type of uh, individuals directing traffic. So now, you know, she's gonna have that issue plus the city issues on top of that, plus the school issues. So it's a safety issue on top of that. So I'm looking at the picture here. So I'm not sure how she's gonna be having going in and out. I, I mean, I would hate for her. I mean, I don't want to not have her open up her business. I mean, I would hate for anybody not to be able to have a business. I mean, people right want to It's zoning, correct? It's, so zoning, it's up yeah. to us to to zone change it or the way it works okay. is well, like you said. We go to this, change the zone. That's the first step. Yes. Comes back to the and then they'll come back to the plans and show you. Okay. Yeah. Approve that 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 time. Yeah, the, we're going to approve it. Staff approves the building permit. It doesn't go to city. It's oh, just the zone change. You yeah. all going to but you'll, mitigate you, it. I mean, just like you do every, yeah. everyone else, yeah. you guide them. Yes. Gotcha. You explain to them what they need. In other words, we're going to help them through your department Ooh. along. Yeah. Say it needs to have this, needs to have this, and they comply or what have you. Okay. They got to have a, a handicap parking. parking. If they don't comply, we do not have the permanent they can comply. Exactly. In all that, you, you explain to everyone who wants to come in and do business now. First Street, is, is it considered uh, downtown? Uh, yeah, is it? It's, it's going to be standard. Uh, that's part of the plan. Yeah, that's part of the plan. Part of the plan. <laughs> it is. I'm not sure if it's going to happen. It is. It is part of the plan. It is. It is. It is. It is. It is. All right. With that being said, is there a motion? I'll move. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed, motion carries. Thank you, sir. Thank you.
The next item consider adoption of an ordinance amending chapter, chapter 1, general provisions article 1.05, administrative fees, section 1.05.006, San Juan Memorial Park, section 1.05.007, Mayfield Park, and section 1.05.009, parks and recreation of the city of San Juan's code ordinances to consolidate all provisions related to parks and recreation fees under section 1.005.006 to be renamed as parks and recreation fees and to include additional related fees for the Swan Sports Complex and the Swan Municipal Park, providing fee, uh, I'm sorry, providing for effective date, providing for publication, providing for codification, providing for severability clause, and providing for a repeater clause. Okay, on this, uh, on this item, uh, basically what it has is the updates or the changes that were asked to go back and, and uh, review uh, from the last meeting which was on under park facility uh, rental fees, number three on San Juan Municipal Park. Um, it's on the second page. Uh, down on number three. So we had it at $300 per field per day and that went up to $500. On a tournament, tournament uh, rental. rental. There's going to be changes that you're going to do from last time, right? Correct. And then down on the multi-purpose field. Sorry, it says 300 per field. Per field. If we run it. If we run the concession. You added that in? We added that in. So we brought it up. I mean, the other one had a lower fee. We brought it up to 300. Well, it makes sense. And then 200 if we get the gate and concession. If for some reason they only wanted the field. And then down under the multi-purpose field, if it's a ticketed or private event, uh, that, that went from 1500 to 3000 but it's a pretty much a turnkey operation. So we can ensure that the place, that the fields are clean, trash is picked up, everything is taken care of without, you know, adding fees or who are they going to be responsible? Are we going to be responsible? It's our park, it's our facility, so we just get it done right away. By the next morning, it's clean. Any other questions for Mr. Willingham? Not, is there a motion to approve? So, second. Second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Motion carries. Thank you, sir. Next item on discussion and possible action, we have a pre preliminary final plan approval of the process on one subdivision being a 8.41 acre tract of land and part of lot one acre subdivision and part of lot six on one corner St. Ives subdivision as requested by Javier Nocosa, engineer. Mr. Escobar. Mayor, commissioners. Uh is a preliminary final plan approval of Plaza San Juan. Uh, it's located on I-82 and Cesa Chavez Road. That's between the Acura and the, and the Denny's. Uh, this is a four-lot expressway corridor district, uh, which is for restaurants, commercial plazas, retail shops, things like that. Uh, the city staff, city engineer, did review this uh, project. Uh, they're going to be extending an eight-inch uh, city water line and an eight-inch city sewer line. Uh, fire hydrants will be installed. Uh, they're also going to provide uh, drainage for the whole development for those four lots. They're going to uh, provide drainage for the whole development. Uh, they're also going to have a shared access roadway uh, for the four lots, which is going to uh, be coming be from the north and the south side. So they're going to have access on the north and the south side. So there is a, a site plan uh, provided uh, for review. Any questions for uh, Mr. I know exactly where this is. Good. It's going to be a tremendous opportunity for the city. Uh, there's business coming in, so it's just a, a minute, minute uh, just, just, a moment, just, just waiting, waiting for those uh, businesses to be closed so that we can actually go along with them. That being said, is there a motion approved? Is there a second? All those in favor say aye. Aye. Motion carries. Thank you. 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 This is September 30th, 2022, and set a public hearing. Uh, Mayor Commissioners, we're very proud to present tonight that uh, after extensive talks, Mayor, uh, you and I had something back. Actually, a year ago, uh, the plan was to lower half a cent sales, I mean, uh, property Probably. tax. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was something that Mr. Leroy Gonzalez was very, very nervous about. <laughs> but it came, it came down to the, to the point where actually the city is doing extremely well. And uh, you can see that the the, uh, the the paper, which is on page 77, uh, if, uh, I don't know, Mr. Leroy, you want to continue, you want to start, or you want me to continue on that? 
Yes, uh, we were able to bring the sales tax down to about half a cent. And there's correction um, on the proposed tax rate is 0 0.6876, which uh, will exceed the effective tax rate of 0 0.6, 0 0.6928. So in, in that case, if, if, we, if it does exceed, we need to schedule a public hearing, uh, which is scheduled for the next meeting of the August 24th at 6 p.m. Um, do notice that last year we had to have two public hearings. This, this year, year would just, just be one public hearing. But as last year's, the city was recouping five hundred three thousand ninety nine. Uh, if we lower that half a cent, uh, we will be recouping four hundred forty two thousand seven hundred fifty nine, which is the difference is about maybe sixty thousand. I think we're in a good position that we can actually do that, and uh, we should be in good financial stability for this coming fiscal. We can consider next year doing another half a cent if we're. You know, you know, the, the way, way standings, yeah, the way we're crossing our fingers, the way we're going, it seems that we may be able to do that next year. Another half a cent, if I'm not mistaken. We lowered it last, last this, yeah, and for this current year. This year, and, if, and then everything goes well. There's a lot of rutas coming into the city, businesses. Right. We should be in a good position as well. Those are the importance, Mayor, of rooftops and businesses. Sure is. Yeah. I agree with you. All right. Sounds good. good. I guess we. Uh, that would be our recommendation. Mayor. Right. Right. With, With that, that being said, is there a motion, motion approved? approved? I'll, I'll second, second that. that. All, All those in favor, say aye. Motion, motion carries. carries. Thank, thank you. Thank you. The next item is consider awarding RFP number 21 08 08 02 for the purchase of sodium chloride to JCS Industries. From Houston, Texas, Texas, in the amount of six eighty-seven per gallon, six thousand eight hundred cents per gallon, in the amount not to exceed thirty thousand dollars, and authorized city manager to execute all related documents and budget amendments as needed. Mr. Salinas. Uh, good evening, Mayor Commissioners. Um, we went out for bids as the part of the annual renewal uh, for the contracts. Unfortunately, this year the, the chemical sort of glory ends at the end of. Uh, September, so we have to go for renewal. So this contract will take effect October 1st. Uh, we are recommending JCS Industries. They are uh, cheaper, plus they will also deliver in a short time period, uh, instead of 120 hours, 72 hours, but they're also willing to deliver at uh, on weekends. Uh, our current vendor is uh, is Evoqua. Uh, they were just a cent over, uh, but they had 120 hour delivery time, so we decided to go to JCS, so. That is your recommendation? That is our recommendation. And where are they from? from? JCS, JCS is out of Houston, sir. Houston? Yes. yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, most, most of, of the chemicals, chemicals come out of Houston, in the Houston area, uh, except for uh, Chemtrade, which you get out of the Odom area, but just uh, northwest of uh, Corpus. But everything else pretty much comes out of Houston. Question for Mr. Salinas? Not. Is there a motion to approve? I'll move to approve. Is there a second? All those in favor say aye. Aye. Motion carries. Thank you, sir. The next item, consider authorizing the city manager to declare surplus and salvage property of scrap metal and rest consisting of old valves, fire hydrants, check valves, sheet metal, water meters, and sea channel metal. Mr. Salinas. We get in the uh, mayor commissioners. Uh, we are requesting that the items that are listed uh, be declared. Some of them do have surplus items, so that's why we're asking to declare surplus and salvage. Uh, the salvage we would describe better all the broken valves, uh, the old rusted out sheet metal, and broken piece of pipe will we'll all over to a salvage yard. Uh, but the brass metal uh, we will want to put out for uh, for auction because uh, we'll get more money off of trying to auction off as brass than it is to try to salvage it as brass, along with some of the vehicles that are listed in there and some of the pumps and, uh, that are in the deal. Questions for Mr. Salinas? Not, is there a motion approved? So second. 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 All, All those in favor say aye. Aye. Motion, motion carries. Thank, thank you, sir. Thank you. Next item under consent agenda, agenda, we have item A, B, and C. Should you like to put any of those to discuss further, or should you just uh, like to approve all as presented? At this time, under consent agenda, is there anything we need to modify or amend? Members of the commission, modify or amend? If not, is there a motion to approve? Is there a second? Second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Motion carries. Is there a motion to adjourn? To move. Is there a second? Second. 
All those in favor say aye. Uh, this meeting has been adjourned at 6.36 p.m. Thank, Thank you. you. He did good. He struck out.